Crap. I always forget that doesn't have a dragon intro thingy. But hello everyone, Vasive here. Welcome back to some more D&D &D on Sundays. We are here with our dear friend. There's the dragon. Look, there he comes. Get him. Got him. We're here with our lovely friends, Quarantine. We got some new animated avatar stuff, which is going on, which is exciting. Uh, but we are going to pick up where we left off last week. Today might be a little bit goofy because the party is technically split right now. Um, we're going to see how uh, well I can manage to juggle that. Um, but I guess uh, I'll stop babbling. Uh, who wants to do a recap that happened last week? Volunteers? You get an inspiration point. Although, I think most of you have one. I'm listening and just trying to sort something out on you're, my end. Oh, you're good. Uh, you're muted, Serial. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> um, so, oh, I can't remember everything that happened, to be honest. As you know, we're not getting much sleep recently. <laughs> um, what kind of excuse so, is that? I know, yeah, I know, someone died. Um, <laughs> Basha? Yep. Basha died. Um, oh, Pancock did everything she could to save the cat, which she did, and, oh gosh, we managed to... No and way. then I nearly died with my child. Yes, yes, I, yes, that happened also. Yeah, a lot of you got... Real messed up. Uh, Vasha went down by a completely unfortunate series of dice rolls very quickly, uh, which was unfortunate. Um, Lushu ended up death tanking for like three rounds in a row, like mm. getting That's smacked right. down, killed my friend. getting stood back up just to get smacked back down again. It kept failing the, the gibbering Malder save and attack for opportunities kept messing him up. I'm pretty sure everyone almost died. Uh, Eva got smacked out of uh, her form, which I think that's the first so far. So yeah, that, that's literally the first time that's happened. It was funny because uh, there was there was a Twitter post the other day about um, something about like or total player kill, like everyone died, and it's like let me check my notes. Uh, it was like the what the Robin Hood meme. It's like wait a minute, I won. Let me check my notes, and he's like looks at the script. And it was like medium encounter, and I'm like, yeah, that was a that was supposed to be a medium encounter, and it freaking rocked everyone's world. It was awful. But apparently, as a DM, I roll ridiculously high, but as a player, I can't roll to save my life. But essentially, what's gonna happen is uh, you guys will be obviously will have to be introducing uh, Nat's new character, which I'm not gonna give spoilers because it'll be exciting, um, hopefully, and. Uh, but we're going to have to essentially bounce back and forth between two parties until you guys end up meeting. So hopefully um, it won't be too bumpy of a ride, but we do need to wrap up what kind of happened with um, the the end of your guys' encounter with Noak and the, the sheep. sheep. Yeah, all that stuff. Um, I don't know who um, I should technically start off with actually you know what yeah, justice for vash exactly um maybe maybe we'll start off uh hey nat how do you feel about you starting off uh your little bit first since That's fine. okay i, I didn't want to just drop the on you um mostly because you kind of got pulled out of last session because your character went down which is a bummer so i want to maybe give you a little bit of more play time here um but Essentially, what we're going to do is I'm going to be bouncing back and forth and trying to steer the party or steer the campaign, the players, so we can actually make sure everyone gets some equal playtime here. But essentially, um, let's go ahead and start. Um, Vasha, do you want to go ahead and introduce your character to the players? Obviously, not to the characters, but. I am uh, playing Lyra. A uh, paladin, human paladin. Um, she really cares about other people, but has a lot of insecurities. Um, and that kind of is reflected in how she acts a little bit. And then um, she, 
you know, as kind of just a normal human hung out in a town. Is is pretty is just a pretty friendly, happy person. Okay. Looking to do good, protect. Uh, your your god is Helm, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, for those that don't know, Helm is the uh, the god of protectors and protection kind of thing. So, obviously, like clerics and paladins uh, steer towards him. Um, so it kind of makes sense. Um, for Lyra, Lyra, right? Uh, Lyra, 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 or Lyra? Lyra. Which I was I was gonna go with Lyra, but we can go Lyra. Whatever, it's your character. What do you want? <laughs> we we have to Lyra. respect her name, right? Lyra, Lyra, Lyra. Lyra? Okay. Lyra, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I wrote down as. Okay, let's see. Uh, Lyra, oops, I'm in the my wrong notes here. Okay, Lyra is currently on hire by Lord Osberth Hastworth. Uh, he's a, a well-to-do okay. merchant. He's coming out of Stonewood. Um, you're, obviously, your, uh, your contract is to escort him safely to the town of Bastion Bay. Um, he is hoping to set up, uh, some new trade dealings in town. Um, and he's also on a lookout for a prime location for his new summer home. He's, a he's an elf, uh, noble. He's recently come into some, uh, new money. Um, so he, he's not quite, uh, keen on how to actually protect it very well. Um, he's very into, um... Playing cards, yeah. He likes playing cards. He likes doing a, a little bit of gambling. Um, he's probably a little too loose with his coin, but uh, your your task is here to make sure that he makes it to Bastion Bay safely, with or without his money. Well, that's that's up to you guys, I guess. Um, you are currently uh, traveling aboard a ship uh, called Tia's Run, um, for and you've been on the ship for a number of days. It's a it's a little ship. Um, what are they called? Not schooner. Uh, a clipper. It's like a little clipper ship. It's meant. It's built for speed. Uh, to transport stuff quickly. Um, but it does have some goods on board. Um, essentially, you've been traveling for days. Um, the morning sun, you know, uh, war sun warms your skin, and uh, the now familiar scent of sea air fills your nostrils as you make your way above deck. Uh, the merchant ship of the TS Run is uh, pleasant enough. And her crew have been quite welcoming to you on your journey. Uh, but after more than a week aboard the ship, you are more than a little relieved when you hear the cry of "Land Ho!" Uh, from the crew's nest high above the deck. Uh, the crew give a half-hearted cheer before uh, Captain Alceris whips them into a flurry of motion as they begin to make preparations to dock. Uh, with a, with little for you to do, uh, you can simply watch the town of Bastion Bay go larger as the ship glides into port. Or you're welcome to, you know, make your way around the ship um, and meeting uh, or talking with your shipmates, getting any information if you want. I do have a, a thing I can share. Um, okay. boop -a -doop -doop. This one. Should be able to share this. Share. Record. All right. Did everyone get that? Nice. It doesn't pop up. Um, it'll be in your images. It's map T is run. And uh, oh, that's cool. Um, no one showed up. Ah. That's cool. Um, no one showed up <laughs> on the map. <laughs> um, like always, nice right? Boat. Yeah, nice boat. Yes. Uh, let's see if that's going to work. Did that work? Did people show hey. up? Are people yeah. there? Okay, cool. I'm, I, I'm not seeing it. Can we see it, or...? Um, you guys might not be able to see it yet. Let's see. Oh, you guys have to be on it, don't you? Mm, sorry. All right, you know what? Just so you guys can see it, I will drag you guys onto it. And so you can feel... You can, so you can feel involved. But obviously your characters aren't there. What's right. the map called? Uh, map Tia's Run. Tia's Run. All right, Lyra is obviously on board, though. All right, <laughs> you're in the ocean. Yeah, they're they're just gonna hang out there in the ocean, like uh, they know what they're doing. Just having a swim. <laughs> just oh, just hang out. No, me neither, babe. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can just share it directly. Then 
Yoink. Echo. Oh, don't close the thing when I'm looking at it. Aha. Blue shoe. I look badass. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, I, also, I didn't know what color you wanted your character. Um, there's multiple different colors of paladin tokens, so if you want, um, we can switch it. But essentially, uh, what I wanted to do was just get you a token. Um, let's see. So, here you are. Um, you are kind of on port. Or, on port. You're uh, on the ship. Uh, there's various characters here. Uh, you have the captain, uh, Elsteris. Um, you have, you know, a quartermaster. There's a, there's a cook underboard. Um, th obviously, there's the lookout. Uh, there's a, a f couple of fellow passengers. There's obviously your um, Hastworth. Who's you should be probably standing next to? Um, I will move you. Wah, there you go. You're next to Lord Hastworth now, and uh, that's about the crew compliment for uh, the Tia's run right now. Okay, so first, um, when they yell land, I'm gonna say, Oh, thank Helm, run over to the side of the boat and just thank Helm. I love it. it. You, you, oh, um, you're gonna be seasick, eh? Yeah, okay. So, whoop. Okay, so uh, you go uh, heave out your guts a little bit on the on Tia's run, and uh, Lord Hasworth uh, he he comes up on board. He's like, Ugh. and he sees you kind of uh, heaving over the edge there, and he says, uh, "Oh, have a rough breakfast, did you?" I just need more alcohol. He's like, ah, yes. That sure fine would do for a, a rough stomach. Did oh, we drink no. it all already? Or <laughs> yeah, you're just like I, I just want this to end. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ah, but we are in luck. Yonder is Bastion Bay. Your contract is almost up. You could spend all the coin that you are surely able to get on as much drinks as you so desire. I hope you will join me when we. <laughs> Get there. I would love to share a drink with you. Ah, oh, quite. Yes, yes. And then uh, he's like, "Do you have any other further plans once you reach land?" Hmm. Not as of yet. I guess I'll find out when I get there. Well, I must say you've done a swell job uh, managing contract. We sure protected us from a scuffle earlier from those bandits on the road. I greatly appreciate it. You're well worth the coin. In a, uh, go ahead. Trying to see who all's on board here. Oh yeah, can you see their names? I hope you can. Let's see. There's a. Lord Hasworth, we talked to uh, Wafus, uh, Rook, that's the lookout, uh, Captain Elseris, uh, Giles the Cook, uh, Quartermaster Siggy, and Rin is uh, just another passenger. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to go check to see how far we are and go talk to Rook. Uh, from Bastion Bay? Yeah. Sure. Um, Rook, you know, is a. Uh, Hanging out on uh, one of the masts, you know, making sure that uh, when they're not going to run into any rocks or reefs that are um, obviously towards the towards the shore. Um, Rook is a halfling male. Uh, he's got a really keen eyes. Uh, he's been spending his days in the the crow's nest of Tia's Run, uh, and his nights nice chattering or, or in his nights chattering away. Uh, pretty much anyone who's listening to quite a chatty fellow. Um, he's more than happy to share uh, some stories over a game of, game of dice, which uh, he's probably taken some coin from Hasworth over the past week. Uh, he sees you uh, come out uh, from under him, and uh, you ask how much further or how much longer. Yeah. And he's like, um, what did I say? He was a, he was a half, halfling? Ah, yes! We should be uh, approaching shore in the next hour. It's right over there. You can see the large gates of Bastion Bay. It is odd, though. There seems to be quite a number of ships locked in the, the port than for such a, for such a town. Hmm. 
I'm not familiar with Bastion Bay. Is it odd for there to be this many ships there? Quite. Look how packed it is. For being a trade town, uh, there should be ships coming and going, but not a single ship is leaving. And it seems to be over overburdened with ships right now. It does look quite Borgmerigmus. <laughs> that was a big word. That's a ten dollar word right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's uh Lyra's thing or Lyra's thing. <laughs> I will use big words, I don't know if they work. <laughs> um Okay. Um yeah, he he kind of blinks a couple times. Yes. Yes, that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I should relay this to the captain. And he kind of goes down the crow's nest and shuffles over to the other side of the ship uh, to speak to Captain Alceris and give him a little bit of an update. Obviously, just relays the information. It's like finding, um, what do you call it, docking? Not, not porting or parking. Uh, for the, the ship, even for a, a small ship of this size, it's going to be difficult because there doesn't seem to be any open space here. Um, you see Elsteris kind of get a little bit flustered, um, or not flustered, uh, a little bit agitated because um, obviously they want to get in and unload all their stuff so they can get paid, um, and any sort of holdup is uh, a bit frustrating. Uh, Captain Alceris, he, he's a, he's kind of he's a han handsome uh, elf in his middle years. Uh, he looks every bit as dashing of a scoundrel as uh, from many rom romance novels, um, right down to the billowing shirt and plunging neckline. Uh, obviously, a former pirate, um, he uh, he was smart enough to move uh, with the times and uh, is now a law-abiding ab citizen, from what you can tell. Oh yeah, so that's that's what's happening about aboard Tia's run at the moment. Perfect. You just want to get on land as fast as possible, huh? Yep. Sounds good. Um, is there anything else that you'd want to do besides just waiting for the ship to pull into port? Uh, I guess I would like to know a little bit more about. Bastion Bay, if there's someone on board who seems like they might know more about the town. Sure. Um, I guess pretty much everyone aboard the ship, you know, Bastion Bay is a common uh, port town for them to pull into. Uh, they all could probably give you a little bit of you know, information. Um, we can say, uh, I guess, who would you want to talk to? I guess they would give information differently depending on who you talk to. Um, let's talk to Wafus. Wafus. Uh, okay, he's a, a dragonborn, or she's a dragonborn female. Um, the imposing dragon, dragonborn Wafus is, uh, on her way to, uh, I suppose I could do a voice. Oh, <gasps> I've never done a dragonborn voice. We're gonna do it. <laughs> okay, this, this might be awful, but we're running with it. Um, how am I gonna do this? So you ask what she's doing in Bastion Bay? Is that what you're wanting to do? Yeah, what are you doing in Bastion Bay? What is there to do in Bastion Bay? Okay. Uh, she's very she's an imposing dragonborn. Um, she's standing there, uh, very diligent, and uh, been pretty much uh, being on her loan for this whole time. You know, uh, some people are a little bit nervous having a dragonborn on board. And... Uh, she kind of, she slowly kind of turns over her shoulder and flicks out her tongue and says, uh, I'm here to establish some of the old smuggling channels that, that, uh, that used to operate here. Um, she's not really shared this information to other people, uh, but she seems to getting, uh, be getting agitated with the long journey, so she kind of it's like, ah, a mere slip of the tongue. And uh, she kind of grunts and turns away. Interesting. I'm going to go talk to Rin. Rin? 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 Sure. Um, Rin's a human I'm male. The same thing. Yeah, there you go, right? 
a uh, human male. Um, he's he's a a young acolyte of Umberly, uh, which is a goddess of the sea, and he's on his way to take up a, a position um, at her temple uh, in Bastion Bay, uh, because there is there is a temple, obviously, that I just said, uh, and he's uh, kind of on a pilgrimage. Uh, he's kind of quiet and awkward, but the 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 crew are more than happy to have him on board because you know if uh, you have someone important or a worshiper of the goddess of the sea when you're on a boat, that is a, generally a good sign. And uh, they they're going to try to give him any sort of pleasantries they can afford to uh, give offerings to Umberly, and he kind of is a little bit jittery when he kind of explains this to you, but uh, he's more than happy to. Uh, be making this pilgrimage for his goddess. Hmm, that is very hierarchy of you. <laughs> hierarchy of you. He's like, uh, yes, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> Everyone's just very confused <laughs> at the large words you're using. <laughs> So, since you have so much influence, do you think you'd be able to get us a spot in the dock? Oh, but my, my influence is very little. I am but a young acolyte. I'm just here to carry out the goddess's bidding, but be sure I will, I will make praise to the goddess to try and get us into port as soon as possible. And he starts uh, kind of chanting and... Dancing around the boat. <laughs> Blessings. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm at that point I'm just gonna hang out, wait for the boat to get there. Okay. Do. That works. And then uh while that is underway, we're gonna transition over to the other half of the party. Well, I guess, majority of the party. Um, you guys obviously just finished up the combat with Noke. Um, he is now a festering pile of gook um, for uh, overusing the, the wand of polymorph. Uh, oh, crap. Shine bright. Shine bright? That's right, right? I gotta look at the thing. Shine bright? Yes, shine bright is uh, obviously ecstatic. Um, he wants to get back into his uh, normal form as quickly as possible. Um, the battle just ended. The dust hasn't even settled yet. Uh, Vasha is laying there um, very much unalived, um, face down in the, in the dirt. And action. Um... Well, first thing I want to do is go make sure we can check on Lushu to make sure he's he's doing okay. I'm not. <laughs> I'm Everything hurts. Yeah. Um. Can I cast? Uh, let me see if I got any spell slots left. I've got a couple. If you don't. If you're lucky, I have one. I have like two <laughs> first level spell slots left, sir. I would like to cast Cure Wounds on Lushu. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. You got healed for seven. Nice. Can you change that? You need access to my panther, sir. For some reason. Um, oh, you need to, you need to drag that onto Lushu's head, by the way. Oh. For it to actually heal. Um, I can do it, though. Um, because you did the thing. Lushu, okay. Did it work? Yeah. Oh, I'm in the wrong... I'm in the wrong thing! I can't change stuff when I'm not in the DM mode. Where are you, Lushu? Right there. You are at... You healed for seven. You have nine damage applied to you. You're feeling a little bit better, but uh, you're going to be quite sore, <laughs> obviously, in the next day or whatever. Uh, let's. How do I stick and share just your? Just to complete it, I'll cast my last first level spell. All right, make sure you drag it on his head. Again. 
Makes it Where easier. Yeah, he disappeared off the map on mine. Oh, yeah. did you? What's the map name yep. again? <clears throat> Oop. Uh, it's on the map. I'm showing you open. It's not the city not gates. The combat tracker. He's not on the combat tracker. Yeah, he is. He's at the bottom. No, I see Lyra. And you guys don't see Lucio? And Eva and then Echo. Why? He just uh, he popped back up on the boat map. Hello. Yeah, why were you hidden? I don't know why you're hidden. That's weird. No. <laughs> My map's disappeared. Uh... Yeah, where did Noak's tower go? What the heck? Things are missing. Tower. There it is. Oak's tower. Yeah, I, I still don't see uh, Mr. Lushu. Lushu's the red guy right in front of you. On the I'm back on the map, yeah. I can't find the bleeming map. Uh, it's called Noak's tower. N-O-K-E-S. But again, he, oh, there he is now on the combat tracker. He was not on there. Is everyone there? I promise you, he was not on there. That's weird. You're not on there for me, Pancake. Yeah, I found it. Unless you're somewhere else. Anyway, um, if you just roll it in the thing, I can just drop it on him. You heal him for two more. <laughs> it's well, fantastic. That sucked because I rolled another six earlier. All right. Um. Oop. All right. Lushu has five damage to his name. Beautiful. Feeling a little bit better, but uh, your party, you know, you're all breathing hard. That was a that was a hard fight for you guys. Uh, so does anyone else just elect to uh, finish up with a sheep and then just go like take an obnoxiously long rest? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's wise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, Mister Sheep. Mr. Shinebright, I should say. We've done what you've asked. We've given you the wand. Now. Um, he is obviously in sheep form and he can't use it himself. So, bah, bah. He's, he's, he has the, he has the, he's got it in his mouth. Echo, please take the stupid wand from the sheep as the <laughs> one that's probably more knowledgeable in Arcana. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Please tell me what, what I have to do with this one to help you. Um, bah, bah, bah. Obviously, the, the... I think you have to cast uh, Speak to Animals again there. Yeah, that obviously is run out by now. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> That's a... You, you um, can just read that scroll. I'll tell you what. Can I... Eva wants to just... Eva wants to translate. Yeah. Keep. Uh, or you can just say, you know, like, if you go in the tower, there, we'll say there's another scroll available that you can use to speak to him. Okay. Okay. Um. Yes, I need to know what we can do. Can I not just roll and uh, like chance the fact that I I just. Point it at oh, you, you, it works. Okay, so you want to try to use the wand now, or do you want to talk to him first? Oh, yeah, talk to him first. God damn, I'm tired. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, you're fine. So, uh, well, you guys use the scroll of speak with animals. Um, I guess um, he was braying this whole, buying whatever, sheeping uh, this whole time. Um, so he comes in, uh, you guys understand him mid- Ba, I don't know. And he's like, um, he seems to be um, undergoing a little bit of remorse. Um, and he's like, sounds like he's probably been just ranting about it, um, but he seems to have um, come to a realization of uh, how poorly he probably treated his uh, former apprentice. And uh, he's turned a little bit somber uh, about what's happened. Um, and he's he, se he seems a little bit... Uh, Shaken up. Uh, Maybe I should have uh, okay. acknowledged his opportunity, or or his uh, 
because obviously Shinebright is an elf, so they could live for hundreds of years. And he went, he was like, I've, I was just giving him the training that I was undergoing, but I never really grasped the realization that him being human, his lifeline is but a fraction of mine. He had such great potential. And I, uh, I, I am sorry. Um, I place my hand on Shine Bright's back and say, "There's, there's no need to be sorry. What, what's done is done. Now, please tell us how we can help." <laughs> he kind of shakes his sheep head and uh, says, "Well, obviously we have to use that wand to get me back." Um, you guys did see that the la obviously the last use of that wand uh, caused. Uh, Nook to turn into a pile of mouthing flesh and eyeballs. Um, so obviously there, there's a little bit of a danger there. Um, but he seems to be... Uh, <laughs> he, he seems to be aware of the dangers associated with the, the wand. Uh, but he seems to be willing to risk his life in order to be turned back into an elf. Fair enough. Fair enough. And... Okay. Uh, he he does uh he does convey his, like however it also be no should be noted that with that wand and having it been modified there does come a danger to the caster as well well um so i take my hand off his back and i say well that's disconcerting <laughs> but uh uh, You're I'm handling gonna... the wand now, right? Echo? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. help him. Um, if you want, um, you can roll an uh, Arcana check. Okay. This is where it all goes wrong. I can feel it. Arcana, there we are. Doop. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I called it. You didn't um you didn't get any don't get anything uh significant about it, but you do uh notice that uh it has been fitted with some uh bulbous rune inscribed iron bands, um, uh, and there's a bunch of cracks running down uh the length of the wand. Um it obviously seems to have uh been heavily modified and it's probably the the case for why uh the the wand seems to be unreliable. You, you know you said there is runes. Does it, does it spell out something? Uh, not that you can tell. It just, they just look like a okay. arcane runes, probably to help increase the number of uses that the wand has. Fair enough. I was kind of hoping it would be my way to... Um, I was going to say, <laughs> would it be possible for me and Eva to also take a look? I apparently have proficiency in arcana as well. <laughs> Go for it. Um... I kind of want to avoid uh, skill dog piling. Um, I'll let you help, um, uh, Echo. Uh, if you roll above a ten, which you did, okay. so uh, she gets an additional plus yeah. two. Um, still slightly too low. Um, Eva, if you did want to help, you're all can, can be like huddling around <laughs> the wand and looking at it. Yeah, how do you make it work? <laughs> okay, you guys, you guys roll high enough. Um, yeah, the modifications. Uh, obviously have left the, the wand in, a, in an extremely unreliable uh, state. And um, they, they, there, there is obviously some uh, danger to um, reusing this wand uh, much more than it is, has been normally allowed. Um, you could obviously deduce that you could be turned into one of those things, those flesh piles, uh, if something goes wrong. Um, you could also... Something else bad can happen, but, you know, obviously... Uh, Shinebright is willing to risk his life, but I guess it's up to you whether or not you guys want to risk your lives uh, trying to help him. I, I can probably get away with helping him. Is Even it? Worse <laughs> Nat's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. I had a character die. <laughs> It's still there. How can you guarantee, Shine Bright, that 
us using the wand is actually going to function as you say it should. Uh, he, he's, he's straight up with you. He goes, like, I can't guarantee it. Unfortunately. I'm going to check my person and make sure that I've got my ring of mind shielding. You have it. Um, yeah, so if you die, you get eaten by that ring. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Nat's just laughing like, oh god, this is going to go bad. <laughs> oh god, if we lose another character in the first 20 minutes of another session, twice in a row, oh... Uh, Shining Bright does say he, he sees you guys can uh, be you're pondering the situation. He's uh, he kind of looks over and says, "If I do die, please send word to my own college of my death." Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I I'll say that I'm gonna have one more go, but put more um put more into it. You're gonna what? Um I'm gonna see if I can try and use the wand one more time and see if I can't can't at least try and without hurting myself. You're going to actually try to turn him into an elf with the wand? Yes. In, yes. You're very much aware of... I don't like that smirk. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of uh, the danger is real. Yep. Okay. I, uh, yep. Um, the, I, will let, I will let you know the check, obviously, and you can decide whether or not you do it. But um, you will have to pass a, uh, a decently high... Uh, Arcana check. Okay. In order to use the wand properly. I'm going for it. You're going for it? Oh, oh. dude. Oh. I'm going to hyperventilate. <laughs> oh, God, please. Oh. Well, All right. Uh, Everyone oh. buckle up. All right. We need some intense music or something. Holy crap. I need an actual seatbelt here. Right? Oh, dude, I'm freaking out. The dice is in my hand. Okay, right, let's go. I feel like we're on a field trip with Mr. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh no. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. I knew it was gonna happen. Y you failed by a significant margin. You failed by five or more. Can't remember to be honest. Um, oh yes, you have an inspiration point. Please use it. Can I? Uh, yeah. I and re-roll it. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go. No, wrong one. Okay, let's go. I'm stressing out. My heart is beating so bad. God, so is mine. This is. Uh... Thank you, pancake. No. That's worse. No. Oh no, it's slightly better. <laughs> it's one more. Um. Okay, I will give Miss Cre Miss Creation <laughs> point to use. Sure. Oh my gosh. Sure. Reroll. Oh my god. I, everyone's blowing their inspiration point. Like, yeah, are all, okay. So, because you gotta essentially say what happens with their inspirations. You gotta, you gotta inspire Miss Creation or Echo, its character, Pancog. Inspire her somehow. Use your. I, I know this is going to be very trying for you with all the the things going on, especially inside your own mind. But we 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 need to do this. We need to do this for Vasha. I I'm gonna try my best. Come on, you you can you can you can do this. I I gently put my hand on your shoulder. Okay. Um. Well, your inspiration. Uh, obviously helped um, over what would have been a greater than a five failure, but it is still a failure. Not yep. Not good enough. Oh, damn. Yeah. It's all right. I will take it. Are you sure? Because 
Ugh, I hate this. All right, so uh, you failed. You turn into a gibbering mouther. You turn into another flesh pile, just like uh, Noak did. And now it's roll for initiative. One of you better pick up. I swear to God, if one of you don't pick up my ring, I'm going to be very angry with one of you. Well, if they they have to find it in your goo pile. Flippin' meat sack. Yeah, you're 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 a meat sack right now. Oh God. Even pancake is yelling. How do I? Oh God. I was not ready for that. No. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess combat tracker. Oh boy. Is How come? Initiative for all of us. Yep. Oh, fantastic. I gotta. Go find a stinking gibbering mouther. Oh god. Yes, I know she she's now a meat sack pancake. Shush. Where'd he go? Where'd Yo, he... stick her ring on my finger. <laughs> the, the, your missing finger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea. That's a that's a <sighs> memorial right Oops. there. Sure. I don't know what the heck that was. I misclicked something. Okay. Um. I gotta. Oh God damn it. Where was Echo? You were right there. I'm gonna die. Okay. Echo was over here. You bring Malther. That thing has to roll for initiative. Oops. Wrong button. Initiative. Or NPCs. Oh God. Okay. Um. It really gets to go first. Shine bright. Well, in his sheep form, he's getting to go first, and bah! he sees what just happened, and he just freaking books it. Fuck the sheep, he killed my friend. <laughs> Leave him a sheep. Oh my god. Um, and uh, the mouther kind of okay. comes a uh, mouthering over. I'm catching the fucking sheep, and we're gonna eat him. And uh. Goes over to Lushu. Oh, great. And, uh... Fantastic. Starts attacking. Well, he's a bitch. Get him in. Why isn't it working? Attack. Oh, God. I'm too fast. I'm too fast. You're not showing up on the map properly for some reason. Or your, your token is jacked up, so... There we go. There. And he comes over and he smack you. Oh, God. This was such a bad outcome. I think he, I think he missed. Uh, yep, yeah. dodge. Second attack. Oh, that's a miss too. I'm stressing out, guys. All right, Eva, it's your turn. Oh man, I got nothing. Yeah, uh, you guys have not rested. You guys. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. My my job now is healing. That's all I can do. Oh god. Uh, you 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 still have your healing spirit out? Heads up. Oh, okay, I, I do. Okay, awesome. Uh, so I can't, on the combat tracker, I can't actually see how much damage Lushu still has. Uh, Lushu only has five damage now, because... Okay. Um... Uh, where is Pancake? Or Pancog, I should say. Where are you, Pancake? You were next there. For some reason, your guys' characters kind of slowly disappeared from the map. I don't know why. Uh, but Pancake is... Just south of the the Malder. Oh God! Um, if I go next to Kyrian, will I be able to reach Pancake? Uh, with a touch spell? Uh, or uh, let me see. If you go, you could technically run around. It. I think you could actually get behind Pancake, as long as you just ran around. Probably. Let me see. <clears throat> okay. Like right there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. All right. And what I am going to do is I'm going to use a second level and cast Cure Wounds because my poor friend. Nice. Heal for nine. All right, that's, that's a little better. That's a start. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's something. This is my job now. Um, I DM. I still need Kyrian's page. Yeah. Um. 
I will share that to you. It is your turn. We're NPCs, Kyrian. Um, so question to you. Would mm -hmm. it be possible for me to just use my short sword, assuming that, you know, the f whatever flipping spikes attacked me destroyed my bow? Uh, you didn't get your bow destroyed. Dead night? Nope. So would it be an action to pull out my short sword? Yeah, or you can choose to because drop. I'm, if you I'm choose to drop your the bow, point. then you can, and then it's a bonus action. Okay. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop my long bow. I'm going to pull out my short sword. Okay. That ends my turn. Nope, you you get an attack because you dropped your bow. If you would have just drawn your weapon like normal, then it would have been end your turn. Oh, you started your hold on. You started your turn on in his round or within ten feet of him. So blah blah blah. Oh, within twenty feet. Hold on. Oh, Eva was just out of range. Um, you need to roll a DC or a wisdom save. Yo, oh, are yeah, huge. No. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you're you're fine. So you hit. Go ahead and roll damage. And you did some damage to him. You kind of slice off a little flesh chunk. Um, I still don't have Kyrian's page. I shared it with you. Why didn't it work? Oop. And Kyrian. Did that work? Um... Not that I'm seeing. Give me a sec. Oh, it just popped up. There you go. Okay, he's gonna make a, a wisdom save, doesn't he? Uh, yes. Oh, that was almost oh, a one. <laughs> he passed. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna have him claw at the gibbering monster. Uh, no. he hits. Wait, how did he hit? He rolled a nine. Because it has no defense. Oh, right. Yeah, that, never mind. That, that's the initiative I was looking at. Okay, did some damage. Eight. He can do his other attack. Does he get two attacks? Yeah, he has multi-attack. Oh, no, he doesn't. Sorry. He does not. Most most other beasts higher level. Do I get to bite? <laughs> no, th that's what I was thinking of. Is like when you do your charge, he gets another attack. But he does not have that. Uh, with that, that is my turn. Yep. Come on, combat tracker. Be nice. And it would be Echo, but there. she is now a gibbering, goobering goop of goop. <laughs> uh, Lushu, it's your turn. Remember, most of you guys have your uh, inspiration points still. How do I apply my sneak attack again? Um, go to your actions, and you got to drag the uh, effect onto you, your combat tracker. Yeah, I never have that option to do it. Um, click the. Uh, like, I see it there, but there's no, no nothing to drag. If I just drag it, it just like highlights it. That's all it does. You um you can't drag the uh, effect button over to your name on the combat tracker. I don't, I, don't, I don't see an effect button, like none. I'm on the action thing now. I see the weapons, powers, Oops. abilities, uh -huh. uh, more abilities, equipment items, uh, the ring of jumping, and generic actions. And even in generic actions, it's uh, not there. 
Uh, have you? It says it there, sneak attack, but there's no thing to drag. Right. Go, so go to your actions under your powers. Um, is this your sneak attack expanded if you click the little magnifying glass? If you. Oh, there's the effect. Yeah. Drag, drag that, that over to your uh, your character. There you go. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yep. Okay, then. So first main hand. Truth. You hit. <laughs> you hit with a roll of a three. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. So I don't, the there, that's a lot of fat damage. Yeah, oh my uh, god. Nice. And then nice. my offhand second weapon. Mm. Ooh. This Those man's had really enough. Good. This man's had <laughs> enough. <laughs> uh, let's just talk about. Uh, my god, dude. Uh, yeah, you just messed down. him up. Holy crap. Oh, wait. You, you didn't roll your wisdom save. If we have to undo all that. <laughs> oh, I have to check now. Yeah, you make, you make it. Okay. Uh, I would have been like, you. if we get rid of your inspiration point, I'll let it go through because I fucked that up. Oh, thank God. All right. There you go. Huge damage. Yeah, huge damage. Um, and that's pretty much all I can do. So let me go ahead and. All right. Doink. 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 Oh my God! All these things shouldn't even be here. All right. Well, it's the gross thing's turn. How is the gross thing going first? I don't get it. He just got so many arms. Their initiatives are high. All right. Um, he's going to, uh, bite Lushu for that massive damage. Miss. Dodge tank. Oh, thank goodness. Dodge tank. That one hits. Uncanny dodge. Yeah, you might have to. Because, uh, you just took 15 damage. Oh, Lushu. Uncanny dodge. Why? Uncanny dodge. <gasps> I think it just... Dude, I think it worked. Hold up. Oh my god. It did! Look! It. Wait, do you see that on your... uh The thing? It says uncanny dodge. Resist all there. Does that show up on your guys' tracker? No. Okay. So I tried this. Um, I... Like your uncanny dodge and your actions. You can use that as an effect too. So you can drag that over. Although it, it's kind of weird because you have to do it uh, before, but it's essentially you're supposed to choose to do uncanny dodge before damage is rolled, obviously. Uh, but essentially, I tried it because um, I figured you were going to do it anyway, and it already applied the half damage. That's freaking cool. So you only took seven instead of fifteen. Um, and that is its turn because it missed its first attack. Eva, it's your turn. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you had your healing spirit. We get a <laughs> anyone that was within what ten range feet of it or something could have been healed. <laughs> you can figure out your thing. I'll figure out the the heal thing. I'm just gonna use a first level spell slot and heal Pancog some more. Go for it. Um, okay, so your healing spirit has to literally be standing on someone to heal. So we'll say last turn you could have moved it to someone that you wanted to heal and they get 1d6 heal as well. Heal seven to Pancog. Uh, as far as the spirit, we might as well just put it on Lushu, the poor man. I am. Okay. Damage. He's uh, the tank. I'll. 1d6. Alright. Uh, he heals for 5. Ah. Moved. Um, it's Pancock's turn. Save, don't I? Uh, yes, you do. A uh, wisdom. Ooh. 
Ooh. Yeah, that's a fail. Um, uh, that's a, that's almost a crit fail, damn it. Okay, roll a d8. Uh-huh. <laughs> Stress battle eating gummy worms. <laughs> okay, dude! What's with you guys rolling five and sixes on this guy? Okay, uh, so you can't take actions this turn. You use all your movement to randomly roll, run in a direction. Um... And they get an attack of opportunity. Yeah, yeah, so just choose a random direction and run it, and he's gonna smack you. Or attempt to smack you, rather. Offense, there it is. Attack. Doink. And you, you dodge. Um, it's 60 feet you move, by the way. Because you have to use your whole action. So, if you're just gonna run that way, boink, there you go. You're all just woo! You are speed. I am speed. Um, Kyrian can go okay, though. Okay, Kyrian's turn. Uh, roll wisdom. Kyrian, please, please make Mama proud. Don't have her shitty roll. Thank you. Uh, I, yeah, he passes. Um. He's gonna bite at the the creep the mass of meat. You hit. Yeah. Damage. Good damage. Max damage. You see some. You see some chunk or uh, some of the ooze starting to slough off and not being not reforming back into his body, its body. Lucia's turn. Okay. Actions. Drag on sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Did that work? Okay, that was. Uh, I don't see it. There, you, uh, there it goes. Oh, wait. Right, main hand. Oh, wait. Wisdom save first, right? Yep, yep. Into wisdom save. Yes, yeah. You, yeah, roll a d8. Uh, I don't want to. Four. Oh, not a stinking five or six this time. Okay. You do nothing. Okay. Sweet. Nothing bad happens. <laughs> you just do nothing. Now, main hand. No, no, no you do nothing. What? Is that I don't get to go? Oh, wait. How, how does that read? Because the other one says you don't get any actions. This one says... Hmm. On a failure, the creature can't take reactions until the start of its next turn. Um, on a one to four, the creature does nothing, so you can't do anything. Oh. Uh. So you you stand there like covering your ears because the gibbering is driving you nuts. Your elf ears being covered. All right, it's the Mouther's turn. Who's he got near him? Um, just Lushu and. Kyrian, all right, I'm going to roll a, a d4. Lucio, your evens. Kyrian's odds. Uh, Kyrian. Smack. Misses. No! Smack. Crit miss. All right, uh, the thing... Oh. Kyrian is a super dodgy boy. Eva's turn. I was going to say, his armor class is technically 14. Um, also, uh, your healing spirit is on Lucio right now, um, so okay. it could have healed him for some if you wanted it to. Okay, uh, that's a d6, right? Yep. Oops, I did not drag onto his head. It's fine. Uh, two, I can do it. Boop, boop. Um, and you can choose to move it on your turn if you want. Okay. I'm gonna step up a little bit. Ooh, ballsy. Yeah, I gotta. Um, I don't. It would be a, an action to draw a weapon, right? Um, no, because you didn't have a. Unless you already had a weapon in your hand. Which I don't think you did. Right? I don't. Well, no, because I got popped out of bear form, and that was pretty much that. Yeah, then it's not an action. It's an, it's an action to, like, sheathe one to pull out a different one. Okay, so yeah, I'll try to hit at least uh, with my scimitar, I guess. 
It won't stop me from feeling bad for it, but you know. <laughs> uh, that's just a little thing to, to hit, right? Next to the, the weapon in yes. actions? Okay, cool. You hit. <laughs> they have no armor. <sighs> Although they hit like trucks, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, That's fair. Damage done. Yep. Cool M more pieces are uh, just becoming jelly on the ground and gross, like, just desecrating the ground. But it's uh, still standing. There's also a question. Does it, is it still like, does it have the wand somewhere and it's gross, fleshy, you know? Um... We'll say uh, you guys can s s see it kind of like sliming in and out uh, of its its gross form. Okay, I might have a plan if it doesn't go down within the next turn. All right, pancake, it's your turn. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna just basically use my turn to just kind of go all the way back over. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Eva, you needed to roll uh, a wisdom oh, save. wisdom. Right, you're right. Uh, save. Oh, I see it. Oh, natural 20? <laughs> yeah, you pass it. Uh, it's Kirin's turn. And he's got to do a wisdom save. Mm -hmm. He passes. 17. And he's gonna bite at the motherfucker. Chomp, chomp. <clears throat> Hit. What? Oh, doing claw damage. Oh yeah, you yeah you have to do claw damage because you did actually claw hit. Didn't mean that. Hey. Oh well, max Tasty. claw damage. Hit. Floops out and and turns into a no longer writhing pile of goo. It's just a nasty pile of goo just laying on or jellied out on the ground. And uh, unfortunately, that was another friend that just turned into a goo pile. Yeah, and uh, so you can you can see as it kind of grosses out the the wand kind of is sticking out of the flesh pile uh, <laughs> um well you know what since since uh <laughs> echo did it first I, i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna try the wand. you guys are gonna seriously keep trying to do this i don't I think it's that. worth it but this I is just me <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna do it? Okay. Um, I'm gonna do it. Well, okay. Um, Shine Bright looks on you like you're a crazy person. <laughs> but also, he wants to turn back into an elf. Um, if you want to do it, go, roll an Arcana check. You're gonna kill your whole party if you turn into a gibbering mouther. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, yeah, you fail. Nah, damn it. Yeah, you fail. Um, and you failed by... Uh... You failed by more than five. Um... So you, uh... should be able to just smack the, the thing out of my hand and say no. You, um... Also turn into a gibbering mouther. Oh, no. But since you failed by more than five, in addition to it, the wand explodes. And everyone within ten feet of you take 1d10 force damage. Ouch. Ooh. Ah! Okay. Um, I will let you guys roll a deck save on that damage. So, Lushu, Kyrian, Eva, Pancog. Each take so or sorry, do a deck save. Eva fails. That does not shock me. My dex is not high. Kir er, Kirian fails. Okay, so this will be for 
Blue shoe takes half damage, so four. Uh, Kyrian takes full damage. <laughs> four. Eva takes full damage. Two. Pancog takes half. How come the half people are taking more damage? Takes four. And uh, now you are giving Mouther, my friend. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. NPCs, Mouther. Oh my god. Okay, here's a new one. Look, we were attempting to do what the stupid sheep wanted. Can I kill the sheep? At this point, I've kind of had enough of him and I'm feeling lamb for dinner. I'm right? feeling I'm lamb for dinner. Sauce. I got some mint sauce in my inventory. Wait, wait, it, it, it would be, it'd be lamb yeah. encrusted elf, right? Where's That's fine. the lamb sauce? Why, why That's all I'm they, saying. Where's the lamb sauce? Not attack the sheep. Everyone, uh, everyone roll initiative. Everyone roll initiative. Yeah, we kind of want to kill the sheep. No. I stabbed the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh yeah, everyone else is dead. It's literally you two. This is oh, great. God. Eva, oh, God. Eva, you get to go first. You still have your healing spirit out. <laughs> All right, well, Lucio's getting the key oh, back. Hang on, I'm hang on, hold up, hold up, hold up, real quick before this, before anything goes further. Right, Pancog's now dead, right? Oh uh, yeah, Pancog is now a goop flesh. I hereby adopt Kyrian. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, I hereby adopt Nobody Kyrian. Take care of my child. And we'll be looking for someone to pass him on to in the future. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm. Now, now Eva, it's your turn. Wait to my I'm killing this fucking sheep. I don't care about that sheep. Right there. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a rogue. I got ring of jumping. I can get away faster than that thing from slime. That sheep. Nah, he's mutton. That okay. ship's about to freaking get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had right. enough of him. Go for it, Eva. <laughs> I've lost two friends because of him. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, let's see, what do we got? To be fair, <laughs> your friends <laughs> chose to do that. Three friends! Masha, Echo, and Panko. No, I'm not having it. You can't even use the one to try and bring us back now because it exploded. Yeah, well, it couldn't bring you back. It was just a polymorph, so... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to smack on him again. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you hit. You know okay. Oh, you gotta do wisdom, by the way. <laughs> oh shit, you're right. <sighs> you pass. Oh uh, my god, my wisdom rolls and today. And <laughs> you did, you did one damage. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, does Lucius still get the the D six for healing? Uh, it's on the if they start their turn on the the spirit, so it'll happen when it's uh his turn. Oh, okay, cool. Now I get to control Carrion. Although, how would a freaking pet work? A hunter pet work with their master dying? I I think at the moment. Kyrian wouldn't be attacking the gibbering thing because he would still see it as being Pancog in a way. So Maybe. I don't know. Oh, do I? Don't I? Do I? Don't I? Looking at us for some I'm going to make him roll a... Yeah, I feel like he would have panicked if he just yeah. saw Pancog what, what, turn yeah. into... What's the... Uh, what would be the save to stop it. getting panicked? That'd be constitution, right? Or would that be wisdom? I think that'd be Constitution. Constitution is like poison and stuff, though. Yeah, but wouldn't mind Wis stuff. Wisdom is mind I stuff. Think it's a, either an yeah, intelligence mind, or yeah. wisdom check. Yeah, let's do a. We're gonna make it do a check. Um, he's able to not panic. Um, but uh, it also doesn't attack because he doesn't know exactly what's happening. 
Um, I feel like he would just be growling at the thing and not really knowing what's going on. Uh, he's gonna... Mouther is gonna... <laughs> Hancock Mouther is gonna bite at Eva. Why did it roll two? Why is it at disadvantage? No, no, let it roll. Oh, because it, th <laughs> it thinks it's prone. Dropped a nine, which would have been a... 11, which I think would have missed anyways. What's your armor? Yeah, it would have missed. I need to get rid of this. Why does it think this is unconscious? Oh, because that's the Givering Melder 1. Why is that one showing up? Get out of here. Delete. There it goes. Um, Pancog is dead. Uh, Lushu's turn. Right, so I'm gonna move. I can't move because I keep dragging the spirit. Instead. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I move right here just so I'm still within five feet of an ally so I get my extra damage. Okay, so um, you can get healed I... right now, but you also have to roll wisdom. Two. I have to roll I have to roll wisdom for the Malder. Oh, you pass. Oh, okay then. Right, so next. We're gonna put on now. Fuck this sheep. You hit? Good. I wonder, is it possible for you to miss? Are you hitting the sheep? <laughs> you fucking murdered this sheep. I'm not joking. I told you. I told you. Hold on. Um, your I'm seeing if you it's, it's possible for you to actually miss uh, the gibbering mouth there too, because I don't know. Seven. It's not possible for you to miss. The only you only have to roll a d one d twenty to see if you roll a one. Otherwise, you hit. Okay. So just so moving is forward. Unconscious or is it dead? Um, I pretty sure it's dead. Let's see, seventeen. Um. So you did 17. It has... Where's its life? It has 11 life. It's technically unconscious. While it's on the floor, I use my offhand. Oh my. And you stepped into the gibbering Mouthers area to do this? You crazy bastard. Okay. Yeah, it's it's dead. Yeah, fucking... I'll do damage anyway just to make sure. Uh, yeah, it's dead. Okay, you guys murder the shit out of the sheep elf. <laughs> okay. He shall, he shall make good mutton for when the battle is over. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Is that your turn? He's, he's screaming his party members' names. He, he, he's just. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just screaming his party members' names. Later. Over. Um. It is, uh. Fucking. Eva's turn. Hold on, I gotta skip through all this crap. There you go. Oh my. He's dead. Well, that takes care of that problem. You bring Mouther still there. Uh, can I move the spirit back on the Lushu? Um, yeah. I okay. appreciate you. Also, you have to roll wisdom. Yes, I'm going through all these tabs here. Oh, let's do that. <laughs> nah, I would have killed the sheep an hour ago. You hit. I don't know if it's possible for you to miss too. Let's see. Oh, that was the wisdom. Oh, you you pass. Uh, with your dagger, yeah, you you can feasibly miss. You hit. <laughs> Not a one this time. Yeah, you did it. Oh, I know why you moved next to. Eva, so you can get your sneak attack damage on the fucking yep. sheep. That's what, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> More than just a pretty face, my dude. Kirin's gonna... There's a little brain inside here. Kirin's gonna go run and hide. Turns into kitty form and books it. Lucio's turn. Alright. So technically, me moving here... Would uh, still be within the five feet. Uh, oh, you want to move right next to it? 
I mean, you're within five I'm, feet of him I'm right still, now. I'm still, within, I'm still within five feet of Eva as well, is what I mean. Yeah, I mean, you can attack the Mauser from where you're at, though. Well, can I? Oh, bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, okay. um, roll right, wisdom. So... Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. D6 for your heal. Five. Beautiful. Oh. You pass. Awesome. All right, Dude, the spirit is doing work. I think it's supposed to be gone after a certain amount of oh, rounds. Wait. Oh, I dragged it onto him instead, not what? me. The sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you don't want him to have sneak attack? Rude. No, I really wouldn't like that. No, I really wouldn't like that. Uh, I can't drag it onto me because of the, the spell. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Pre appreciate you. Mm -hmm. There we are. All right, then. So, main hand. You hit. Uh, damage. Okay, that's 12. Offhand. <clears throat> and damage. 18 altogether. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, yes, and that shall be my turn. Okay, the spear is gone. It should have been gone forever ago. It only lasts a minute. Which, no, it's six rounds. So we'll, we'll say it has a another round or two. two left, I think. Yeah. Yep. Um, Mouther's turn. Um, Lushu's even, Eva's odds. Lushu. Uh, miss. <laughs> Second attack. Miss. That's fine. Dodge tank, dude. Mm -hmm. Uh, now it's gonna be Eva's turn. <laughs> Go for it. Alright, let's do it again, boys. You got it, my dude, you got it. Get that crit, get that crit. Oh, I got a wisdom check first. Yep. Pass. Okay, dude, look at these <laughs> giant rolls. It's only those two. <laughs> Oh, it was so close. Yeah, there's the miss. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I, I missed, right? Yep. All right, cool. I mean, not cool, but you know. Um, And then Kyrian is gone. Lushu, you're up. Um, You get your D6. Uh, I need to do wisdom as well, don't I? You're, you're fully healed now. And top. there's my wisdom. Ah! You fail, oh. bruh. Yeah, I can't do anything. Alright, cool. D8. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, that's the one where you run. And he gets an attack of opportunity on you. Alright. So uh, yeah, you don't get you don't get reactions though. So you're gonna have to eat it if he hits you. And he hits you. Was this developed by From Software? Fuck dude. I didn't know I was playing Elden Ring. He just did 18 damage to you. Ouch. Ah, he just did it to himself. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. Someone figure out what... All right, 45 minus 18. There you go. 18 damage. All right, you were full life for two seconds. Yeah, fine. Now you're back down to half. <laughs> That's all right. Um, and you run in a random direction. Yeet. You went that way. Wee! Put me around and ran far, Jesus. Yeah, you have to use your whole movement. Um, and now it's the Mouther's turn, and since Lushu is gone. Oh, dear. Eva's gotta buckle up. Yoink. Uh, you dodge. And dodge. Holy crap. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, guys, I'm stressing out. You're stressing out. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, Eva, your turn. This will be uh, the last so turn that your spirit's up. Yeah, so the last, um, I I'm gonna move the spirit onto myself first because I'm scared. Uh huh. Um, I have to, to cast, I have one level two slot left. <laughs> um, if I cast Flame Blade, I just have to drag the effect onto myself, right? Uh,. I believe so. Let's see. Flame blade. Doink. Um. Oh my God! It gives you plus. Six. You will literally not be able to miss. 
and it does a lot of fire damage. Yeah. Okay. Um. So just yeah. <laughs> so just drag the just... effect onto my head, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it again. Is this Elden Ring? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it better fucking be. Um, All right, when, since that though. is a concentration spell, that means your healing spirit will disappear now. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, delete token. <laughs> All right, wisdom check. <laughs> that should pass, right? Yes. Cool. I'm gonna smack this boy. Hmm. Oh! 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 Yes. oh! Here we go! Big! Okay. This is gonna be bananas. Let's see. Ooh. Um. So you gave yourself the flame blade. You get. Um. Yeah, you're you're fine. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So you roll damage plus your d6 or three d6. Okay. Will that do it automatically or? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Um, I. Okay. I'm looking so at it right just, now. It's just double, or I have no idea. <laughs> Last for the duration. If you let go of the blade, it disappears. You can use your action to make a melee spell attack with the fiery blade. Uh, did you roll your normal? I I guess it doesn't matter. You rolled a twenty. On a hit, the uh, target. That, that was it. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah you just roll three d six, and hopefully it should take into account that it was a crit. Okay. Ew. Oh, oh that's so many God. dice. God. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm useful. <laughs> oh my god. Eva's about to take a point in necromancy and to resurrect that sheep because she's not done beating its ass. Honestly, just like, I'm not, this flame blade's not going to waste. Oh my god, that was so much damage, but it's still alive. Well, uh, that's, uh. That was dope, though. It's Holy angie shit. Time. It's Angie time, that's yep. what I'm saying. Oh my god. All right. Um. Um, so that. Lushu, it's your turn. Uh, you're, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you ran yeah, off into yeah, the yeah. nethers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, first, can I use a health potion? Uh, it's I an action. Gonna, like, gonna, yeah. Gonna, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to move 30 feet and then use that and then in my turn, really. Go for it. Um, so, hang on. I'm going to move to here. Um, and then I'm going to, yes, use my health pots. Uh, let me change it to three. That's now two. And how much is it? Uh, it should say in your, um, in your actions, if you expand it, it should show. Unless you are out of health potions. No, I have, I have three. Um, oh yeah, oh, expand your potion, potion of healing. Uh, potion there you go. 2d4 plus 2 yeah, to so myself. So I put that onto myself. Yep, drag that onto your face. Perfect. That's decent. Yeah, that was, that, that was a great That's heal, fine. holy crap. Not bad. Um, and yeah, so that'll be, that'll be my turn there, so I can't do anything else, can I? But, yep, alright. Yeah, Mouther, slightly on fire. <laughs> Toasty. It's going to, uh, smack at Eva, because you're the only person in range. Um, uh, you, you, did you roll, you rolled a wisdom, that's right. Attack. That one hits. Oh, that's gonna hit. Second attack. That's gonna hit. It's a crit miss. <laughs> oh god, the swings! I hate it, bro. Also, I've been forgetting oh, to do no, the strength. No. That's a lot of damage. Ouch! Ouch! You, you pass your concentration, so your flame blade is still out. Um, you do a strength save. You fail. Ouch! You are prone. Uh oh. Can I just drag it on you? Oh, I can. Please don't kill me. Oh god. Um, it's your turn, Eva. Okay. Although, uh, if you guys survive this, you guys are obviously getting experience get up, for this. It? You're what? It's a whole ass action to get up, isn't it? No, it's half your movement. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do that then. I mean, you weren't gonna move anyway, right? No. Um, also, uh, wisdom. No! Oh! Your roll would have failed, but you got dope ass wisdom because you're a druid. Yeah. You pass. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't want to die. <clears throat> Where the heck did that go? Excuse me. 
You flame blade? Oh, there it is. And I was, I, I missed, I don't know why this one category on my character sheet decided to minimize, so... <laughs> this, man, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I am gonna friggin kill Dude, wounds on myself. Your flame, I don't wanna die. Your flame blade has a better chance to hit than your normal daggers and stuff. Yeah. Actually, well... That's funny. Do I want to take the chance? To what? To just try to go all in and hit him again. That's my question. <laughs> well... I'm scared. You can see that, uh... I, I, you, I hit him for over 25. You hit him for 7. Yeah, you guys did he's crap ton of damage. He, he's kind of, like... He, there, there's still like there's some charred bits on him. Uh, he, I should be explaining. There, some of those charred bits are not like. Yeah, they're not getting enveloped into his flesh anymore. So uh, he, he's he's uh, hurting. All right, you know what? Just screw it. We're going all in. Do it. Do it. Do it. You get off my Do it. Get him. Get him. You hit him. Three d six. Let's go. Look at those numbers, bro. He's still That's standing, but uh, you cut through and you see it sear a big chunk of his flesh, and it's obviously like that chunk is just dead. Lucia, all I'm gonna say is please help me. <laughs> help! You, help! Oh, Here we come. Help! Help! Oh. Your turn. See that video of that little kid trying the wasabi, and she's just like, help! Help! Yeah, <laughs> so sad. <laughs> help! Because it's just the panic of like, oh, That's this is not me. good. I don't know how to handle it. <laughs> Wisdom save. Uh, please. Yeah, you pass. Fuck, fuck. Okay, right, this is it. Big boy damage time. Sneak attack. Get sadded. Action. Main <sighs> hand first. You hit. Nice. Damage. That should be enough. You, yeah. Oh. It's unconscious. It, it, oh, man. <laughs> He's <laughs> just, just going hard. It's like, no. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Lucius seen some shit. <laughs> uh, We've all seen some shit. What the fuck are you doing? All right. You guys successfully managed to kill a second or a third, technically. Gibbering Mouther. These things are going to haunt your nightmares now for a while. You have now lost three friends in this one... Adventure, I guess. Oh, would you stop? Um, but Lushu and Eva, you are standing here amongst this oh. disgusting flesh field battlefield with you two, the only ones remaining, and a dead sheep. <laughs> All right, can I call out? I'm just Kieran gonna give the sheep try a fucking and get him Um, he had two more turns of running. Um, I don't think you, you can try to do misty step towards him. Well, he's he's <laughs> like he had because he moves 40. He had two extra turns of 160 feet. He, he's like out of the map. Um, I'll, I'll let you do a charisma. Yeah, check to see if uh, you can call out to him. And if he listens, where are the lambs? <laughs> Charisma. <laughs> Go ahead and do a check. Can we both do one? Oh, uh, sure. We'll say you're right. both hell yelling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> same roll. Yeah, same roll. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you guys are, you know, just, I guess you're uh, calling out to Kyrian, uh, seeing if he's coming, and, uh, he is, uh, he's not, resp or there doesn't seem to be a response. Kitty gone. I'm ouchy. I'm ouchy with my bones right now. <laughs> Sad music. There you Sad go. Music. Sad music. Fucking A, guys. I'm gonna start Jeez. carving up that sheep for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um... Joking. I guess we'll... Do it. The sheep, the sheep deserves it. Uh, Eva and, uh, Lushu, uh, I guess, what are you doing right now? Uh, Lushu's just gonna kind of fall to the floor, that like, kind of, like, you know, Zack Final Fantasy VII style. No, don't just, say that, no! <laughs> just sort of sit down, without saying a word, head down, kind of looking around him. 
and just sort of looks up at Eva and says, Looks like it's only us now. And then there were two. And then there were two, dude. And uh, she just kind of sits down, probably tired and hurting like hell, and just blank faced, like emotionless, just on it, like struggling to comprehend everything that has just happened in the last like hour. And whilst she's looking all confused, <laughs> she just yeah. pulls up like a lamb and goes, <laughs> Dude? <laughs> Long rest and food, that's what you need. Yeah, yeah. Then I, I believe we should have a long rest. Yeah. You're gonna take a long rest, are you now? Just a, just a full on try to contemplate what has just happened to us. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea now, does it? Yeah. Okay. Should we try to make it back to the town so we at least have like a safe place to rest or just that like make a camp somewhere around the... here? Yeah, that might actually be for the best if we make our way back. Up to you, dude. What do you want to do? Uh, well, the way back should be safe, but I don't have any any health oh, potions or anything, sure. so should yeah, <laughs> should. Um, I've got I've got a health pot. I can give you one. Okay, I'm gonna actually as well. Uh, if DM is okay with it, I'm gonna use one of my first level spell slots and cast uh, cure wounds on myself. Go for it. So I'm about to heal. Well, you don't need to if you're gonna be taking a health. long rest. Oh yeah, true. Oh. Okay. Well, I just did anyway, so. I just oh, did. well, that helps. <laughs> Either way. Yeah. Don't don't minus the potion from your inventory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do the other one though, obviously. Okay. Um. So so are you guys gonna go back to town? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um. We'll say. Uh. Well, I guess the other two are flesh piles. What are you gonna do with Vasha? Uh, I would like to at least conscript Lushu to help dig like a small gravesite if if we can before we leave yes i will happily aid in such events you do that right now yeah roll for initiative i'm kidding uh, i'm oh, kidding yeah. <laughs> i was about to say <laughs> what is a squirrel gonna do? It's like, what? um no okay so um you, you uh oh before we go mm -hmm. um trying to think um can i look for echo's ring and Go ahead and roll an probably. investigation. Have anything on you. Investigation. Okay. Dun dun dun. Yeep. A twenty. Ah. Yo, that was almost a one. Ooh. Um. I found it. <laughs> you actually, you don't find the ring. Uh, you you find remnants of a ring, um, but it seems to have been smashed. Or it, it's okay. it's it's lost its power and it's echo is in the afterlife officially. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace. And before we go, uh, Eva's gonna do one last thing, um, using the cantrip druid craft to do similar to what we did for the village mass grave, but. Yes, is man. getting a, a very, very large, like just it's the whole mound is just going to be covered in flowers and Heck yeah, dude. seasonals as well, so that they they will keep blooming. I would I would give you a an inspiration point, but you already have one. Um, but yeah, you guys, uh, you, you dig a, a grave for Vasha, and you you, you kind of reflect on uh, the little the short time that you actually had together with uh, Vasha, but. Um, you know, your comrades in arms, um, it, it, things are getting a little emotional. Uh, Lushu, you kind of flash back to when, uh, you had to bury your family, um, due to, uh, y your childhood. Uh, Nat wants to be a tree, so. Nat wants to be a tree. a small tree. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, dude. All right. What kind of tree do you want to be, Nat? Yeah, you get to pick. Oh, what tree did he chop down in that first? I want to be whatever tree he's <laughs> Oh, <chopped> hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Love that. Love that. Sure. Um, I, he, it was just a... I think I said it was just a, a large oak. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Um, so, uh... Oh, also, as we're doing that, as we finish full up... Full circle. Um, <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to remove one of my candles, because I have four of them. Mm -hmm. So I have three left. I'm gonna put it down on top of the graves, and also as a sign of respect for my fallen comrades, I'm actually gonna stab my short sword into the ground 
as like a warrior's sort of death, so I'm going to remove my short sword from my inventory and I no longer have one. I use daggers anyway, so it's all good. Um, and I'm going to use my tinder box to light the candle. Thank Hell yeah, you. dude. A Hell few yeah. moments of uh, silence. Hell yeah. I would give you an inspiration point, but you also have one. I already got one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you guys uh, take a few moments of silence and you, yeah, you reflect upon the time that you shared together. Um, reflecting upon what the heck happened there. There, there may be a, you know, some anger emotions rising because, uh, you know, some friends decided to take the risk here for the stinking sheep. And uh, every sheep that we come across along the way, <laughs> talking or not, is now food. Is no food. Okay. <laughs> Lou sheep now has got a grudge against sheep. All sheep. <laughs> yeah, all sheep. <laughs> Elven sheep or not, he's got a grudge against sheep for killing his friends. Alright, you guys uh stand here what feels like moments, but uh it actually some time has passed. Um the the sky begins to cloud over. Um it's a little bit stormy. You guys decide to uh head into town and uh look for some lodging. Uh you stumble upon upon a uh a little tavern uh, known as Cask Mates or Cast Ma Cask Mates Tavern. Um, it seems to be fitting. Uh, you're able to get some lodging for the night. Um, I, I suppose you could choose to talk to the innkeeper if you want. Um, but you kind of walk in. I think Lucy would be in the mood. To talk. Just, yeah. just hand him the coin. Hand yep. him the coin and head to his room. Cool. Um, he 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 notices that uh. You're obviously not in a ta talking mood right now, and uh, due to the history of this town, um, he's not one to ask questions. Uh, so he just, you know, flips you a key. Uh, he's a little stout dwarf. He says, "He rooms number 18. First floor. Enjoy your stay. Kind of, Lucio nods and just kind of turns and heads towards the room. He's going to retire for the night. That's it. Straight to bed. Okay. Um, what about you, Eva? You doing the same? Uh, she doesn't usually, but she is going to get a drink before she does anything, and then also retire as well. Okay. Uh, you uh sit in a in a corner of the bar, um, drinking your drink and uh, just reminiscing uh, over some friends lost. Um, as a you were shuffling in your pack for uh, some coin for your drink. Uh, you notice there's a handwritten note inside. Um, it's from Zozo. And uh, Zozo essentially uh, is saying, uh, sorry, but uh, after the the debacle at the, the Cave of the Necromancer, she realized that maybe uh, adventuring isn't in her cards right now. Um, she saw some things that she wasn't quite ready to see, so uh, she's going to take some time and uh, pursue some other avenues at the moment, uh, but she does hope that she can meet you all again in the future um, if uh, your paths cross again. Um, that makes Eva start to cry. <laughs> like, not not just because, like, yeah, Zozo left, but also because, yeah, she wants to meet us all again, but she's going to be meeting significantly less people that she knows next yeah, time right. if we ever cross paths. So that, like, gets her, that gets her, like, emotional. Which she doesn't really show, so it's just weird and mm -hmm. good that she's probably in a corner because she'd be very uncomfortable with showing those kinds of emotions in front of people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... After a, a little bit more reflecting uh, on some loss and stuff, you, know, you finish your drink and you go. Re okay, music. Re you retire uh, for the night, and uh, you both wake up in the morning. Um, see, no words need to, you know, come between you. You both had a, a little bit of a rough night's sleep. Um, but, uh, you know, you guys, you're, you're here, you're still alive, uh, you want to get back to Raska, um, so you're going to do what you can do. Um, you, you guys, you walk outside, uh, you sit down and outside the tavern and you kind of sit down on the steps 
uh, taking in the warm morning sun, uh, and enjoying a, a leisurely breakfast on the pier uh, while you watch a forest of masts uh, sway drunkenly in the cl uh, crowded docks of Bastion Bay. Uh, the boardwalk is uh, similarly crowded uh, with sailors, merchants, uh, travelers from all walks of life are here, uh, doing what they can to keep busy. Uh, is that is as if they wait uh, for the travel restrictions to be lifted. Um, a, a cool breeze blows in across the bay, uh, helping you to briefly alleviate the stench of the mass of crowded bodies. Uh, you think you hear something on the wind? Uh, a voice, maybe? Um, and a, a heartbeat passes, and then you hear the voice again crying out across the bay uh, from an incoming sheep, ship. And it says... Uh, I was about to say a ship. <laughs> nope, yeah, we're, sheep. we're leaving them alone this time. Yeah. The, the panic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> incoming ship. And it's... Shark! Oh. And then we're going to transition over to Lyra. Or Lyra. Oh my god. I need a breather for a second. Oh god. That was a lot. Um. Okay. Um. Sorry, I gotta compose myself a bit. So, you guys were in Bastion Bay. Lyra is, or Lyra's going, is, you're trying to pull into to port here. Um, it seems, uh, the ships aren't really moving, but, uh, you're trying to pull the Tia's, or the captain is trying to pull the Tia's run in to find anything that it can find, uh, in terms of, uh, docking. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Aceris? That sounds right. Um, Captain Aceris is getting a, a bit frustrated. He takes the helm. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, he's borderline bullying other ships out of the way, um, and trying to get them, you know, to move so he can get his small ship. Uh, he's, you know, cur or shouting pirate curses at some of the people, telling them to move their ass, essentially. Um, is there anything else uh, you wanted to do, Lyra, in terms of the ship? Okay. Um, the, uh, the, the Calm Sea, uh, gently waves or the, the calm sea waves gently crash against the hull of the ship uh, as you glide towards Bastion Bay. Uh, considering the size of the town, um, like I said, there's an unusual amount of ships docked on the pier, uh, which it's, itself is buzzing with life. Um, as you begin to wonder uh, exactly where Tia's run will find a berth in the throng, uh, the ship suddenly lurches violently to the side. And uh, roll a dex check, or dex save. All right. A uh, twelve, nice. Um, you are, you're fine. Uh, but the, you being near the edge of the ship, you know, vomiting. Um, you're uh, suddenly just a violent slam of something slamming into the ship. Um, you are able to, you know, compose yourself and keep yourself from going overboard. As you catch yourself, uh, you hear a yelp followed by a splash. Before the cry of a man overboard, uh, and it sends people frantically scrambling about. Uh, before anything else can be done, however, another cry splits the air and uh, freezes the crew in place. Shark! And uh, you are able to notice uh, there is a very large white shark uh, swimming in the perimeter and has sla or slammed itself into this ship. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Um. All right, this is up to you guys. We can. So my, go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. I would just say my first reaction would be. Um, hold on. Would be to find Lord Hasworth, and because that's what I'm there for. So. <laughs> Um, that would be my first reaction to uh, all this happening. Um, yeah, uh, Lord Hasworth has gone overboard. He is the, he is the man that uh, went overboard. Um, you know, he's obviously not accustomed to ship life. 
Um, and uh, he is uh, currently in the sea and treading water as best he can. Yes. Uh, sailors are running about the ship um, currently and uh, trying to do their best to, you know, prepare for any other sort of uh, attack from this gigantous beast. Um, I guess uh, what I was going to say is we're about an hour before we generally end. However, um, a lot has happened this session that I was not anticipating <laughs> or uh, thinking was going to happen. Um, and I know it's late for UK folks. It's is it even later for you guys or is it earlier now? Because it's, it's still 10 uh, OK, so we since we gained an hour, you guys no, you guys would normally be ending at 11 now instead of midnight, which I suppose is good. Um, but we can call it here if you guys want on uh, whatever is happening with this the shark thing. And uh, what do you guys feel about that? Or we can continue for another hour to see what happens. Oh, cereal's <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so is Pancake. gonna drop you in it um it, it, it's Kesha's birthday in two hours oh heck dude uh, and <laughs> she hates it <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, her, it's her birthday in a couple of hours and uh, we've got some stuff planned for tomorrow so i don't know if she wants to get off now or she wants to i'll leave it up to, to her really happy birthday cash oh, thank you uh, I, i'll be 25. <laughs> 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 um, that's so funny yeah. doesn't it <laughs> mm, it does it does yes <laughs> yes. Um, well, I don't mind. I'm dead, so it would be up to the people that would still continue able to play. I guess. Yeah. Well, really, I guess it's up to Lyra. Do you want to do your bit now, or do you want to wait until next week? Because we're waiting on you, really. It's up to you, my dude. Oh, uh, I don't want to make a decision. Well, actually, um, you guys would be playing together right now. That, that's what I had planned. You just don't... Know that yet? Yeah, well, it's not necessarily you don't know that, but it's 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 gonna be like a quick fire, like boom, boom. All right, it's your turn. But the different things are happening. You know, you guys right. will be playing at the same time, just doing different things. Oh. <clears throat> Spoilers. Considering Baby Odin, you should probably be off. That works. Yeah, that works. About it. <clears throat> yes, little Bobby. Cool. I'm saving this song because uh, that was fitting. Tonight was just a. A big range of emotions. <laughs> yeah, holy crap, dudes. No kidding. Jesus. Um, I don't like sheep anymore. Yeah, that was nuts. Um, but I guess miscreation. Uh, remember last time and you said how you never lost a, lost a, <laughs> a player? Hey, these next two, I'm not <laughs> taking credit for. Greedy. I'm not taking credit for those next those two today. That was willing. They knew the risk. I warned them as much as I could. True. Um, but... Yep. Like, uh, I, I, just like Nat, a, you guys are welcome to, you guys are welcome to, uh, you know, make other characters as well. I've already got one in mind. Okay. Part, part of me is like, they just wanted to kill their character to get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Which you don't have, by the way, you don't have to do. If you have a character that you're kind of no longer feeling, just talk to me and, you know, your character can choose to no, retire we were actually trying to play to, to help the sheep <laughs> yeah i mean i, I was I, I spent so much time on echo writing notes and diaries and... yeah now yeah. now the uh the oracle is gonna be really pissed <laughs> yeah oh shit yeah um yeah oh yeah still we still need to figure out what the heck's going on with lucy god dang um anyway oh. But yeah, if you guys want to, you know, make your character, put it up on D&D Beyond in the same place, and uh, I will have to get it into Fantasy Grounds, obviously, but uh, we can do that, and we can pick up again next week. Holy crap. Um, that was a lot of people dying on something that was literally just supposed to be a goofy one-off adventure, and it turned into a murder fest. D&D? <laughs> uh, &D. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Praise the D&D, &D, right? <clears throat> But uh, thank you guys so much for playing. Um, I do hope you guys are having fun. 
And, uh... No. I'll, I guess, I don't know. I, I do hope you guys are enjoying I'm still it. Alive. I'm loving it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, barely. Just, oh, close. barely. Thank goodness you guys had all those heals. My God. I went pretty deep with this next character. Cool. Um, well, yeah. Like, I was sitting here making my other character. Like, backstory is pretty deep and dark. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Make sure you include that in, the, in their description and stuff so I can get a feel for them and understand them and then try to find a way to weave them into the story. Um, but yeah. That, uh, I guess we can call it here. Um, you guys say goodbye to chat if you want. <laughs> Hello, Hello, good. Goodbye, chat. You guys here? Yeah, have mm -hmm. a good evening. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, I'm going to dip out of Discord. There we go. Oh, my goodness gracious me, my friends. That was heavy as hell. Holy crap. Why does everything look so dark all of a sudden? I don't I didn't change anything. It seems dark. Well, we lost three members in two sessions. That was bananas. Part of me was getting all choked up. Yeah, broken hearts time, bro. Dude, seriously. Holy crap. Like, I was just like, okay, this is fine. I'm just, I'm going to explain them burying their friends. And all of a sudden, like, I felt a lump in my throat. I'm like, I'm a... I'm attached to these make-believe characters. God damn it. Time for me to go cry. No, my friends. <laughs> you never trust sheep again. Do you need death ca or character speed run death? Yeah, right? You need more merch. Evil sheep shirt. Yeah, Lushu logic. We should, someone should be keeping track of all these memes. We'll, we'll make merch about, about it or something. Holy crap, sheep massacre of 2022. <laughs> But, oh, man. Um, well, like, like usual, um, you guys, you know, um, last time, last session, um, I, I didn't realize how uh, much it affected me of actually having a player lose their character. Um, it didn't hit me till really after the session, and I was, like, shaking. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that again. But, um, you know, self-care is important. You guys do what you got to do. You know, eat some, eat some self-care foods. Whatever you need to do. Um, I blame you. Yes. Yes. You did a bad thing. Yes, Rip, Vasha, Echo, and Pancog. Um, you know, just do what you gotta do to take care of yourself. I, the downside of being a, a internet-based campaign is uh, situations like this are one where like, hey, yeah, we lost a character. You know, it, it can be sad, but you know, you don't want to just leave people hanging. Uh, it would be a situation like, hey, you know what, let's all go out to, like, a nerd bar or something and, you know, go get some drinks and have some fellowship together uh, kind of thing. Uh, just to kind of make, like, the death uh, not so rough, I guess you'd call it. I don't know. Uh, just to, like, ease the passing and that way, you know, you can get excited of a new character if you're going to make one, you know, stuff like that. Ba-ram, you. Yes. Um... <laughs> Yeah, dude, like, uh, we've had these characters for over a year, um, and you guys were getting, some of you are getting close to level six, uh, in terms of your experience. Eva and, uh, Lushu, obviously gonna get a couple, a little bit more experience, like, not much more, obviously, just because they killed two more gibbering ma mouthers, <gasps> but, um, yeah, so, I don't know, you guys do what you gotta do, take care of yourselves, you know, uh, hopefully... Um, we can make some new friends uh, next week. Figure that out. Um, I'll have to get obviously get though if you can get those to me as soon as possible. You know that'll help because I have to plug them into Fantasy Grounds and uh, make sure everything looks okay as well. Um, but yeah, looking forward to meeting our new friends. Looking forward to uh, the sessions to come. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, chat and everyone is having fun as well. Holy crap! Like, I'm having to take, like, a bunch of deep breaths. Holy crap. You, even with sheep gape, everyone's in sheep shape. Um, Nearing 40, my D&D &D death. Oh, no. Uh, happy birthday, Cash. Um, I am glad. I'm the same way as you. I hate my birthday. I don't tell people it because I don't like the, the attention. But um, I'm glad that... Uh, Serial did say it, so we can say happy birthday. Intel Bunny, thank you so much for the rate. My dude, we're literally just ending. I apologize. We just had some uh, a rough gameplay. Uh, we just lost 
two more characters. Um, so uh, we're just kind of having some uh, decompressed time. What's up, Peanut? Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the shout out, Moira. I appreciate you, my dude. But yeah, so um, that was rough. And uh, we're just decompressing here for a little bit to make sure everyone, you know, gets... <laughs> Is that go getting off and being a, uh, you know, in a in a good headspace, I guess. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're we're dipping out. I'm gonna go have a comfort coffee at ten o'clock at night. That sounds smart. <laughs> Although you guys have a baby, so I'm I'm not gonna judge your uh, staying up habits. Also, why is this thing so stinking bright? In my face. <laughs> you have a newborn. You think I sleep? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna shut down Fantasy Grounds. Oh my goodness, that was uh, that was an event. Oh, oh. Okay, well, bright side is I'll be able to look into some other stuff to bring in as well. Oof. Uh, hopefully, you remove that scimitar from your inventory, cereal. <laughs> we'll have to do that. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, Monday if all goes well. We'll figure some stuff out. Whew. All right, let's um, let's see if we can uh, continue the raid. Love to someone, so it doesn't just go off into the ether. Uh, maybe I'll I might jump on again later. Uh, see if we can do a stream. Um, also, if you guys don't know, I'm doing a charity stream when I'm playing Elden Ring. The next four streams um of Elden Ring, I'm giving a game key away. Um, for, uh. There's like four keys I have to give away, so uh, you guys can join in on that. Also, the uh, there is a D20 up for giveaway um, of your choice. It's custom. I make it. So uh, be sure to tune into that. Uh, that'll be happening Monday to Thursday. Uh, what else am I forgetting? So I won't be playing Elden Ring tonight uh, if I do stream because that's saved for the normal stream week. But I might jump on uh, later today, see what's up. Hey! Hey, Pancog or Pancog Pancake, thank you so much for the 28 months. Get them on them cookies. Where are you? Come get this cookie. Come get this cookie. There you go. Oh, you'll get it. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you so much for the 20 months, my dude. I greatly appreciate you. Oh, um, what do you guys think? Let's go send some love to someone. All right, we have Overwatch, or we have DVD. We can go raid Jay. Jay recently became partner. He's a really cool dude. Um, he's very wholesome. I've always wanted to stream him, but he's always streaming during the day when I'm working, and I'm always streaming when he's sleeping. Um, he, his viewer base is a lot bigger uh, than mine right now, but he's he's a very wholesome dude, and he's very thankful no matter uh, who brings in a raid and stuff. So. Um, I think I kind of want to go give him some love and, uh, you know, if you guys want to stick around for that raid, that would be awesome. Um, give him some love. Very wholesome dude. Uh, he plays, uh, he's mains killer on DVD. Um, but he's very good about it. Like, uh, he's a very wholesome person. He, uh, he obviously plays to win, but, um, when he ever gets salt or toxicity coming into his chat, he will actually go review, um, his VOD and explain his reasonings or mistakes that he may have made, uh, mistakes the players have made. He'll e he even congratulates uh, the survivors and stuff when they do good plays against him. So it's he's really great to watch. I highly recommend him. Um, I'm in his stream all the time uh, during the week. So if you guys want to stick around, give him some love. Um, I don't know, say hey if you want. Um, super cool dude. Highly recommend him. And uh, I'll be over there for a bit. Um, I'm going to go make some food and stuff first. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for hanging out with us in quarantine. It was rough tonight. But uh, that is D&D &D and the world is a dangerous place. And uh, we're learning that in the last two sessions. Holy crap. But thank you guys for being here. Thanks for letting me be your streamer. Thanks for letting me be your DM. Uh, I greatly appreciate uh, my players and the viewers. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. Remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyways, I'm Vasive. We are quarantined. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Come on, let's get some foodies. <laughs>